Bedman, Bunting, only play to first, safe bases. Every so often, we find out about an ejection that occurred several months after it happened. Here's one of those plays. One ball and one strike. I don't think he can hear. So Romine is trying to give the signs through pitch com and I don't think he can hear him. Goldie pulls it. A play at the plate. They hit the runner and the game is over. The throw went off Kisner. He scores. It is not like running from home to first base. You've got a runner's lane there, but from third to home, you don't have the runner's lane. And Kisner, you see him running inside the line. It hits him on the back of his arm. That's a smart heads up play by a base runner running from third to home. This was the late extra inning double header. We did a video on this to tell you why this play was legal. Chris Welsh, the Reds analyst there, also told you why it's legal. Click the video to watch that related play. But here's the ejection that we didn't see at the time. But he didn't intentionally get in the way of the throw. He just tried to shut down the running lane. And no matter how much David Bell is going to argue this, the rule book is the rule book. And there is no provision for interference on that play. Conversation's over, the game's over, Reds lose in 11.